it's up to you. What do we do? What do we do? Well, it's up to you. You know, it ain't that funny. You contribute all my money. You make your contribution, then you get your solution. As long as you can pay, I'm gonna do it all your way. Yes, the money talks and the people walk. Yeah. Now let me hear you say it. Big money. 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 Really real. The name of our game is Let's Make a Deal. Now people got their problems, the haves and the have not, but the ones that make me listen pay for 30 second spots. 30 seconds. Yeah. 30, 30 seconds. Yeah. 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 Yo, Bank of America, this table over here, Wells Fargo and Citibank, you're really very dear. Loan billions to Mexico and never have to fear, because taxpayers, taxpayers, take it in the rear. Take it in the rear. Yeah. Over here, we got our friends from oil. They don't give a shit how much wilderness is spoil. They tell us that they're careful. We know that it's a lie. As long as we keep driving cars, they let the planet die. Let the planet die. Let the planet die. Exxon, Mobil, the Saudis in Kuwait. If we still got the Middle East, the atmosphere can wait. The Arabs got the oil. We buy everything they sell. But if the brothers raise the price, we blow them all to hell. Now let me hear you say it. Saddam. Who say Saddam. Who's saying? Who's saying? Mm. Mm. I want you to get me a phone number. A Dr. Morris Fishman, UCLA. He's at the Department yeah. of Psychiatry. Go, get the number now. Yeah. Get it now. Yo, go. Everybody gonna get sick someday, but nobody know how they gonna pay. Healthcare, managed care, HMOs ain't gonna work. No, sir, not those. Cause the thing that's the same in every one of these, these motherfuckers there, the insurance companies. Yeah. You can call it single payer or Canadian way. Only socialized medicine will ever save the day. Come on now, let me hear that dirty word. Socialism! By March 1996, Bob Dole and President Clinton had locked up their party's presidential nominations. And while California approached its primary with little fanfare or attention, Democratic Senator J. Billington Bullworth embarked upon the final weekend of his re-election campaign. You promised us federal funding to rebuild our community. What happened? Well, you, you haven't really contributed any money to my campaign, have you? What are you saying? Uh, are you saying that the Democratic Party don't care about the African-American community? Isn't that obvious? I mean, if you don't put down that malt liquor and chicken wings and get behind somebody other than a running back who stabs his wife, you're never going to get rid of somebody like me. That was really good. Yo. Yo, yo, yo to you. Later. I was hoping for sooner. Senator, what is this new strategy? Just tell me a little bit. Senator Bulworth. Excuse me, Senator, do you think it's wise to seek the support of the entertainment industry when you have such low opinion of our product? My guys are not stupid. They always put the big Jews on my schedule. Uh, Excuse hey. me? Murphy put something bad about Farrakhan in here for you. Let me look. Miss, you be really honest with me and don't spare my feelings. Do you have any more of those little crispy crab cakes? 